Hi, I'm Mark Cleghorn and welcome to the Photographer Academy. And today I'm continuing on my series um, in creation of character based on free chat GPT. Remember, if you're playing around with this for the first time, you'll need to set up a free account in chat GPT. So just search on chatgpt.com and kind of register there and you'll be away. Um, so we kind of began the series by kind of creating these blister packages or these kind of collectibles, as it were. Uh, and then we began to actually take it more into the kind of the arty world and things. Today, we're going to be concentrating on developing on from the Pixar image that we kind of see here. And uh, it's kind of more about setting the scene and orientation with the photograph itself. And obviously kind of choosing the specific photograph that's right for you. So we're going to be using the kind of the very... Uh, very uh, uh, kind of specific prompts and things. So if you missed this last image, this is the prompt um, that we kind of uh, delivered. So transforming uh, this portrait into a 3D uh, Pixar style animated character, keep the subject's main features recognizable, but exaggerated with large expressive eyes, a small nose and a rounded face. Use soft, warm lighting with a cheerful and friendly tone. Add realistic Pixar style textures to the hair, skin and clothing. The background should be colourful and slightly blurred like a Pixar movie scene. Cosy and well welcoming, the subject should have a joyful and curious expression, full of character and charm. Now that was created from within ChatGPT itself when I asked it for kind of a text prompt to create a Pixar character. Okay, so that's where we got that one from. Let's uh, see what we're doing today. So um, these are just a few that I've just kind of created already. So today I uploaded a different image, okay, compared to the last photograph. And I put exactly the same uh, character uh, creation in. And basically, it came up with this image because it was now based on a, a different style of photograph. So you can see it's kind of mimicked the clothing well. Um, it's kind of really got a great kind of expression. Brown eyes, well, that's not me, it's blue eyes. So I need to actually kind of give it some extra in the prompt. And I really want it in 3 2 horizontal, or you could have gone for a portrait mode to be a, ver a vertical image. You could say landscape or or portrait, chat GPT will pick that up for you, okay? Um, so if I kind of just add it in then, a few changes to that original prompt. I've done them already, so you can see them on screen here. So what I've done in now, I want it in a podcast studio. So that's where I've added that in. And I also want a podcast studio down here in the background should be a podcast studio with a colorful and slightly bird, you know, blah, blah, blah. I've also got in here, it's not highlighted, but it should be, it's in a three, two size, okay? So then we actually look at it and it's created this image instead of the other uh, the other one. I want to correct it though. So I want to kind of give it the blue eyes and everything else with it. If I use the same image with the kind of the prompt that we were doing, then it would actually change the eyes to blue. But what else would you want to change within the photograph itself? So um, I, I want it to be a little bit more colorful. I don't like my puffer jacket that I've got on. So I want to kind of have a, something different anyway. Um, I, I wish I did have 100,000 subscribers. That's the only way I'm going to get a YouTube plaque. Uh, we're getting close, but not close enough yet. So let's uh, change this um, to begin with. So the first thing would be is I'm going to change the image itself. So I'm going to upload, click on the plus, click onto the up, uh, the upload. And then what I'm going to do is um, choose one of the kind of uh, images of me in a pink shirt here. So if I click on the one with a smile, that's going to upload the image. And then if we come across, uh, we're going to now uh, select on the next one, but I want the eyes to be blue. Okay, so keep the subject's main features recognizable or exaggerated with large expressive, we want blue eyes, yes? So let's tell it that. Um, and then as far as we've already got the podcast studio, which is colorful with panels of uh, soundproofing. Um, and slightly blurred, blah, blah, blah. So I've adjusted my text prompt. Now, remember, you can use ChatGPT itself to even create some of the chat prompts for you. You've got to remember, remember if you're using a free account, you're only really allowed to create three characters in 24 hours. But of course, if you want to um, create more, then you would actually just uh, have a, another email address and create another account and so on with it. So I've basically pasted that in now we're now going to upload it. 
And that's going to take between about two and three minutes to actually do it. I've done this with my grandsons. I've done it with a, a group as well. Uh, I'm pretty much convinced that in Christmas 2025, <laughs> there's going to be a lot of Christmas cards fe uh, featuring cartoon or Pixar characters um, as far as the front is concerned. Uh, I, I know, you know, chat uh, chatting with a few of our friends of how they would use this and how they're using it already. It's not just as a kind of a collectible blister packet it. They're looking at the fun images for social media and everything else with it. So let's wait for this to finish and then we'll come back to it. And there we go, all finished. Um, it's done exactly what I wanted to. It's changed my eyes to kind of blue and it's given some kind of colorful sound panels in the background as well with it and things. So it's amazing how you can, can transform this. Now, if you want to have different uh, expressions, think about creating an expression sheet, especially if you're wanting to maximize the free part of ChatGPT and uh, create with the same character different expressions. Perhaps you're using this in the social media and so on with it. So uh, ask for it to create, you know, uh, in a horizontal, you'll get six or nine uh, kind of different characters. You might even get 12. And just ask, ask it, based on this uh, character in Pixar, create 12 different expressions and you will get it or nine different expressions and so on with it. With a plain background, that will make it easy to cut out uh, in the likes of uh, Photoshop or any of the actual animation video production as well. Go and have some fun with it.